BBM's maths teacher is Rob Bradley, a thrill-seeking adventurer who has travelled all over the world. Rob has climbed Mount Everest, learnt to fly an acrobatic plane in Australia and swam with sharks and humpback whales in the Pacific Ocean. When Rob is not teaching, he can either be found scuba diving or flying around in the sky. He has won a gold medal for sky surfing in the British National Championships and has completed over 800 skydives and 100 wingsuit jumps. When he's not skydiving, he's multiplying, and when he's not number crunching, he's bungee jumping. Rob is the only teacher to ever arrive to school on the back of a trailer in his fancy dress outfit for World Book Day. If there is something Rob hasn't done, you can be sure it's on his to-do list. Check out the demo lessons to see how Rob incorporates these adventures into his maths lessons. This is a wingsuit. Now when I jump out of this plane, instead of falling straight down like a normal skydiver, this suit allows me to fly forwards whilst falling. If you track my flight across the sky, it forms a diagonal line from the point where I exit the plane to the point where I pull my parachute. Now if you join up this diagonal line with horizontal and vertical lines, it forms a perfect right angle triangle. We're going to use trigonometry to calculate the horizontal distance that I fly forwards. I'm going to label this X. Hey, Bobby, Mina, tell me what height we jump out at. Woo! Now I can tell by looking at my altimeter that I actually dropped a vertical distance of 3,000 meters in this jump. Woo! So the Lean and Tower of Pisa was built about 850 years ago. It took 200 years to build. Only five years after they started building the tower, it started sinking on one side, which caused the lean. We're going to calculate the angle of the tower using trigonometry. If you draw a line straight from the top of the tower to the bottom, it forms a perfect right angle triangle with the ground. Now the tower is 55.86 meters tall on the lowest side. The top of the tower leans over the base by a massive 3.9 meters. People that climbs Everest leave Camp 3 on oxygen. They don't come this far without oxygen. And I can tell you, I can see why. Aim high, live life to the full because you only get one chance in life. Don't waste it. This is Rob Bradley on the most epic adventure of my life so far. Signing off.